Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video to walk you through how to adjust the GPS settings on your Garmin Instinct watch. Now I like to start by saying I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar non-tactical version. It doesn't matter which version Garmin Instinct you've got, whether it's a solar model or one of the non-solar models. These directions are going to be the same for everybody. I'm also using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So what I'm talking about with the GPS settings is you've got a couple different GPS settings on this watch and you can actually set your GPS settings per app or activity on the watch. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So there's a couple different ways you can get to this. I'm going to go through the settings uh, option. You can also do it through the activities and apps, but through settings, we're going to press and hold the menu button. We're going to go down to settings, press GPS to select settings, and then we're going to choose activities and apps. So I mentioned that you can set this per activity and app. So for example, if I do a walking activity, maybe I don't care about the GPS, but if I do a hiking activity, I want the GPS on, or maybe I want to use a different GPS uh, setting for hiking. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and click on walk just as an example. And then we're going to go ahead and click GPS to select walk settings. If we arrow down, one of the options you'll see under all activities and apps is GPS. I'm going to go ahead and press GPS to select it. You'll notice there's a couple different options in here. We can turn it off completely. Now, if we did that, that means whenever we do a walk activity, the GPS would not be in use. We can do normal GPS only, which means it's going to use uh, the GPS that's basically the satellite constellation that the U.S. has created. We can use GPS and GLONASS, which is the U.S. and Russian satellite constellation. Or we can use GPS and Galileo, which is the U.S. and European constellation. We can also use UltraTrack. And what UltraTrack is, is it's going to use uh, the GPS, but it's going to record your data less frequently. So you won't get as many data points when you go back and you look at your activity, but it's going to use less, uh, less battery life. UltraTrack you would usually use if you're doing an activity that's going to be long, maybe a uh, excursion or a long hike, something like that where you don't want to eat up a lot of your battery life. So all you're going to do, normally the, the GPS and Galileo and the GLONASS, you wouldn't use those unless it's a day where you've got really poor visibility and you're having trouble connecting to the GPS. I think in most cases, you're going to have it set to normal GPS only, off, or again, maybe ultra track. So in this case, I'm going to just set mine to GPS only. And then once we're done, we can press the back button. We can go start our walk activity. Again, if I go down to hike, just for example, I can do the same thing under hike, maybe under the hike settings. I'm going to go down to GPS. And I'm going to set hike to ultra track because that's going to be a longer activity. So I want to use less GPS data, uh, want to preserve battery life. You can set it per activity, per application. Once you're done, just press the back button, go back to your main screen. That's how you successfully change your GPS settings on your Garmin Instinct watch. As always, I hope this video helps. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.